hello beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going to make this beautiful crop top using the rib stitch so we will need to make the back panel two front panels and later we will make the sleeves two of them so to begin we'll start with a slip knot then chain 16 for this part i'm just going to do an illustration of what you're supposed to do for the back panel so after chaining 16 of which the 16th chain was my turning chain i'll go into the second chain from loop with a single crochet then proceed with single crochet till the end of the chain So after reaching the end of my chain, I'll just turn without making a chain one. I'm just turning, then go into the first chain with a single crochet going through both loops, then proceed into the second chain with back loop only, single crochet. As you can see, I'm going through the back loop, then make a single crochet, proceed with back loop only till the end. So when you get to the end, the last stitch I'll go into the two loops. Make sure you go into the two loops, the back loop and the front loop and make a single crochet. Then turn without chaining one. For this project we will we'll not chain one as a turning chain. We'll just proceed with making single crochets. So I'll just do that, going through both loops, then the back loop only. This is my second row. So I've gotten to the end and I'm going through the two loops. For the first stitch and the last stitch, I'm going through the two loops, but the rest I'm going through back loop only. So I'm going to turn, this is my third row, back lo both loops, then I start going through the back loop only until I get to one stitch to the end. So remember this is only an illustration and remember to loosen your stitches, don't make them so tight so that it can be easy for you to go through the back loop. So I'm done. I went ahead and did 10. So for my back panel, I did 63 rows and did the same thing as just shown. As you can see, it's very neat. The edges is so straight are so straight and that is why I advise you not to chain one while turning. So you'll go ahead, finish your back panel, then this is my front panel. For my front panel, I'll just do the same thing for the first stitch and then the proceed, proceed with back back loop only single crochet till i have one stitch to the end so when i get to the end i'm going to do an increase i'll do two single crochet into the last stitch going through both loops two single crochet in the same stitch that's my increase and then for the next row i won't do an increase but i'll go through the two loops for the first stitch then proceed with back loop to the end then when you get to the end just do the same thing make a single crochet going through the two loops then turn single crochet going through two loops then back loop only for the next 15 
stitches. This is the 13th row and I'll make an increase too. So mind you that I'm making increases in the odd number row. So when I get to the end, I will make an increase do two single crochet in the last stitch going through both loops then turn and do a single crochet only one going through both loops proceed with back loop only before we continue let me just emphasize on what you are doing so i'm um, right now i'm in my 14th row and for the 14th row i'm not going to do an increase so as you can see this other panel that i had already done before we are doing an increase on one side while there will be no increase on the other side so that one side will be flat as the other side will be increasing so remember that when i increase in one row the next i won't be increasing so we'll continue with this till we get to the 56th row meet you when you get there so i have reached to my 56th row and for my 57th row we are going to do the same thing that we have been doing but just a little bit different so we'll turn and make single crochet going through both loops then proceed with single crochet going through the back loop only till you get to the end so when you get to the end you're going to perform two single crochet in the last stitch going through both loops So after doing the two loops, we are going to start doing our tie. So I'm going to go ahead and chain 100 chains. Then I'll meet you when you've already chained 100. So I'm done making my chain. I'm going through the second chain from my hook and we'll continue with single crochet till the end of the chain meet you when you get there so I'm done with my single crochet and uh, please make sure that your single crochets are not that tight so that you'll be able to go with back loop only and you won't have to struggle going through so when i get to this point i'll go through both loops first then continue with back loop only till i have one stitch to the end so meet you when you get there so I've gotten to the end and I'm going to go through the two loops and make a single crochet. So basically we are just repeating what we have been doing. I'll do this for a number of four rows. And this is how it looks like after I'm done. Now we are going to make the sleeve and you chain 13. Then from the hook go into the second chain and make single crochet to the end of the chain when you get to the end you'll turn no chain one then go into the first stitch and do two single crochets going through both loops 
then continue with back loop only single crochet till you have one stitch to the end then when you get to the end do two single crochet going through both loops in the same stitch that's one then that's two so as you can see we are going to do an increase on both sides you turn then make two single crochet going through the both loops then continue with back loop only till you have one stitch to the end so as you can see we are increasing on both sides right now I've gotten to the end I'm going to do my two single crochets going through the two loops make sure you go through the two loops just to ensure that the side is very neat and has no spaces so this is the row that you are going to repeat till we have a total of 24 rows so I'm actually in my last row and I'm going to do the same thing that I have been doing and when I measure my last row it gives me my arm measurement which is 14 so you should measure around your arm and then you'll have to do the number of rows till you get to your arm measurements so after that i'm going to continue with no increases so when you get there just turn and do one single crochet in the in the first stitch then back loops in the in the next stitches till you have one stitch to the end so meet you when you get to the end so i have gotten to the end and i'm going to do one single crochet in my last stitch going through the two loops and please remember to loosen your stitches so it can be easier for you to go through them so then i turn and make one single crochet in the first stitch then continue with back loop only i'll do this for a total of six rows so as to lengthen my arm a little bit so i am done as you can see these sides are a bit flat it's no it's no longer extending i've flattened it so go ahead and make two of these so right now we want to join our pieces bring them together and grab your darning needle so i'm going to start with my back panel and front panel i'm going to use my stitch marker of which mine is an earring then count 30 rows from the top just to leave space for the sleeves and place your stitch marker attaching the front panel and the back panel and then you'll place your stitch marker I really need to buy a stitch marker lol <laughs> so um, I'll then later grab my darning needle and attach my back panel to my front panel I was just choosing my favorite side although they all seem the same they are both sides are very neat so you can just choose either after grabbing your darning needle 
just ensure that they are well aligned that each row aligns well with the back panel row then continue and make a blanket stitch using the darning needle when you're starting and when you're ending your stitch just ensure that it's very tight and it holds the pieces well then secure your yarn and cut your cut it off and it's really looking nice so this is my right side and it's so nice it's so clear as you can see the the rows are aligning there continues so i'll grab my sleeve then for the sleeve part is a bit tricky but you you can do it if i did it then you can do it so this part i'm just going to join the flat part the extended part of my sleeve so i just want to ensure that they are joined then let her proceed to attaching the sleeve to the top so we're going to do only one side then you can do the same thing for the other side so I'm, I'll go ahead and finish up. So after you're done, you'll attach the upper side of your top. I'll count 15 stitches on my back panel because I have 15 stitches on my front panel. Then attach the two sides. Please do remember to secure your yarn very well. Then with a suitable stitch, join your two panels. I'll meet you when you're done. So when you get to the end, you'll check on your right side and the wrong side. As you can see, mine is very neat. So then grab your sleeve place it on the right side then consider where it will be when the right side is worn so as you can see i'm trying to figure out how it's going to be then that's that will be my right side then i flip it over and attach my sleeve so remember we had a foundation chain of 12 so you'll consider that i'll count six stitches from my and first the right end then insert my hook in the middle of my foundation chain i'm just confirming So I will insert my darning needle in the middle of my foundation chain which is my sixth stitch then I'll consider my first six stitches with my first six rows on my front panel so a stitch on the foundation chain of the sleeve will go with a row on the front panel so I'll just align my work neatly and proceed to joining to the end of or to the middle section of my work as you can see so that by doing this i'll ensure that it is well aligned proceed and i'll meet you when you're done So after that, just ensure that they are well aligned. Ensure that your rows are well aligned. Then just attach your sleeve to your top. 
and that's just about it i hope you've learned something new in this tutorial i'll just go ahead and finish up So for the end you'll also consider the six stitches on your sleeve and the six stitches on your back panel and attach them together then that will be it. This is how the top will look like when you're done and I hope you learned something new. The top can be worn in both sides as shown and don't forget to leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel please because there is more coming. Bye!